In this activity, we're going to make a caterpillar that you move by blowing uh, air through a straw. Uh, now, what you need for this is you need a scissors, uh, a little marker, uh, a paper straw, and then some card. You don't need this amount of card, but you can. You just need one sheet of card. So I'm going to choose the green card for this activity. Uh, and what we're going to do now is we're going to take the scissors and we're going to cut a strip about uh, four uh, centimeters or about an inch and a half off this end of the piece of card. You can uh, choose whatever width you like and see which uh, works better for you. That's the great thing about all these science activities. So here is my uh, strip of card. And what we're going to do now is I'm going to take it and fold it in half. So you just want to line this edge up with this edge. And then once you've done that, you and then just fold it in half and push it down on the table so you get a nice crease there. So now you unfold it and when you've unfolded it you're now going to take this piece and put it into the middle and then push down again and whatever you do on this side you do the exact same on the other side. So we're going to take this side and push it down. And we're going to repeat that so we're going to take this side and we're going to put that into the middle and push down on it and the same on this side. and push down on it. Now at this point, there's a lot of folds on the carrot here, so that takes a little bit of strength there to push that down. Now, what, we, what you're going to do now is just fold that then in together now. So now you have uh, basically one strip of carrot folded over eight times or so. Uh, now you can do the activity with this, but to make it a little nicer, what we're going to do is we're going to take a scissors and we're going to cut a little triangle off each corner of um, the carrot. And just a small bit, so I'll show you that up close. You just take a small little snip off each uh, corner of the card. Now when you unfold it, it should look like a caterpillar. You can see the caterpillar shape there. Now to make it nicer, uh, what you might want to do is put maybe a little face on this side. So I'm just going to put two eyes and a big smiley face. So there's my caterpillar. So to get it to work, what you're going to do is you're going to get your straw and you don't need the, f it's actually a little bit easier if you cut the straw in half. Um, so you can, you two, two people can use this straw, one person can use this bit and one person can use this bit. And what you're going to do is you're going to blow down, I might just straighten, that. You have a curve here. What you're going to do now is I'm going to blow down on this piece. And as I do, it's going to push the caterpillar to the ground. And that, there's still energy in the folds of the paper. So it will, it'll rebound like a spring. And as it does that, it'll move forward a little bit. So I'll try and show you that on the camera. So. And it moves across the table very um, slowly, which is great. Now, if there's a few of you here, I'd recommend this uh, and maybe do a little race with that. One of the things about it is that what you're trying to do, and I'll show it to you from the side, is you're trying to blow down from this direction, push the uh, caterpillar down, and then as it, as it comes back up, uh, it'll move forward a little bit. But what happens is, is if you're having a little race, what happens is people realize that if you get underneath it, so if you blow kind of underneath here, it'll kind of move across the, um, the table like a hovercraft uh, and go even faster. So what you might want to do is maybe use the extra bit of card that you've left over to maybe um, stop people being able to blow underneath it. And you don't need a small strip of this. It will stop uh, people being able to blow underneath it. So they can only blow from the top. So I'll show you the difference here if I can. So it moves very, very slowly when I do that. But if I get under here, you can see that it'll, it, rather than going up and down, it will just float across the table. So just keep that in mind when you do this.